Okay, so now we're looking at uh, some problems where we are working with our powers and also where we have uh, some multiplication going on. So problem difficulty has gotten a lot more complicated as we get into this example. So what we have to do here is we have to follow our rules for exponents or for order of operations which is that we have to take care of stuff being raised to powers before we take care of any addition or multiplication or division or addition or subtraction. So the first thing we have to do is go through and raise each thing here to the third power or the second power on the first one here. So we're going to have 8 raised to the second power. And as we work that out, 8 to the second would be 64. And then we're going to come in here and do it for each of our powers x squared raised to the second. Remember when we have a power raised to a power we multiply our exponents. So 2 times 2 will make that x to the fourth. And then we come to the y to the third raised to the second. Uh, pro again raising a power we multiply. 3 times 2 will be y to the sixth. And then we move to the next term. 3 raised to the third. That's 3 times 3 times 3 which would be 27 x to the fifth to the third we drop down to multiplication 5 times 3 is x to the fifteenth and then finally y to the third that was a y to the first there raised to the third would just be y to the third and so at this point we've taken care of we've taken care of our exponents and now what we have to do is we have to deal with the multiplication part of this problem. So remember when we multiply we put like with like. So the numbers times the numbers and then the common variables times their common parts. So we'd start with 64 times 27 which turns out to be 7,000 or 1,728 and then we go to our variables x and x. x to the fourth, x to the fifteenth 4 plus 15 because we're multiplying so we drop to addition will be x to the 19th and then we do y to the 6th times y to the 3rd so 6 plus 3 would be y to the 9th so we get the answer 1728 x to the 19th y to the 9th okay, let's move to a second example here uh, here we have the quantity x to the fourth, y to the sixth being raised to the fifth power. And then on the bottom, we have x to the fourth, sorry, 4x to the third, y squared raised to the third power. So just like we did up above, we're going to have to begin by raising each thing to their appropriate power. So as we begin the problem here, we would have x to the fourth raised to the fifth power. Remember we drop down to multiplication. Four times five would make that x to the twentieth. And then in the bottom, uh, or not get to the bottom, uh, then we do the y to the sixth raised to the fifth. Six times five would make that y to the thirtieth. Now we can move to the bottom where we're going to be doing each one of those things to the third power. So we would begin 4 to the 3rd, that's a number, so we just do the exponent, 4 times 4 3 times, would make that 64, and then we go x cubed to the 3rd, remember we drop down to multiplication, 3 times 3 would give us x to the ninth. and then y squared to the 3rd, 2 times 3 would make that y to the 6th. Okay, and then we just continue on with our simplifying here continue on with our simplifying here. Uh, at this point we're going to divide. Now there is nothing for the 64 to go with so that's just going to stay put in the bottom there. There's no number up top to deal with there other than a 1. And then we move on and we do our x's. x to the 20th over x to the 9th. We would do 20 minus 9 which would give us x to the 11th. And then we do the y's, y to the 30 over y to the 6, we're dividing, so we subtract. 30 minus 6 gives us y to the 
24th power. Y to the 24th power. And so that's our answer there. X to the 11th, Y to the 24th, all over 64.